Hello everybody. Welcome back to this channel for another video. Today, I'll be talking about three techniques to study smart and efficiently. These techniques are not only scientific but also tried and tested by myself and I find it really really useful. I am definite that this will be helpful to all the learners out there irrespective of age. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The very first technique is Pomodoro technique. It's one of the most popular and effective time management techniques introduced in the 1980s by Francisco Cirillo, who is the owner of a consulting firm in Berlin. The technique got its name after the tomato-shaped timer Cirillo used to set time intervals to focus. The method is really simple and can be employed in simple steps. Firstly, choose the subject or a task you want to study or work. Then set the timer for 25 minutes and start working on the task uninterrupted giving your full attention and focus until the alarm rings. Once the alarm rings, take a break for 3 to 5 minutes and during this time you can quickly refresh yourself by having a glass of water, meditating, doing some stretches etc. Note that these breaks should not exceed longer otherwise you may lose track. After the break, return back to another Pomodoro session and continue the process. After finishing 4 Pomodoros, take a long break until you start the next session. The time span of Pomodoro session and breaks can be curated according to your liking. There are a lot of apps available on Play Store to employ this technique and the one I am currently using is called the Focus To Do which has other features as well such as to-do list, a strict mode, white noise, etc. The second technique is known as the SQ3R technique. S stands for a survey. Firstly, spend around 3 to 5 minutes to survey the entire chapter by scanning the titles, headings, pictures, highlighted words and chapter summaries to obtain a general understanding and overview about the concept. Q stands for a question. While you survey, actively ask yourself questions about the text. Assess what you already know and try to understand what the author wants to convey. The first R in the 3 R stands for read. Actively read the text and try answering the questions you have asked yourself in the previous steps. The next R stands for recite. Recite in your own words what you have read and make it a point to prepare self-made notes as attractive as possible with colors, highlighters, sticky notes and so on. The last R stands for review. Review your answers periodically without using your notes. If you get stuck, review your notes and try again. The third technique is called the Feynman technique which was introduced by Richard Feynman, a Nobel Prize winning physicist who is known for his great ability in making others understand complicated things easier. This is the easiest technique which can be done in simple steps. The first step is to pick and study the topic you want for about 1 to 2 hours and secondly explain the topic to someone who is unfamiliar with the topic by using simple layman's language at their level of understanding with pictures, analogies, flowcharts, etc. While doing this, you will be able to identify any gaps in your understanding which will enable you to review and comprehend better. And 
yes that's all for today's video i hope you liked it comment below which among the techniques are you going to implement also consider subscribing to this channel for more videos thank you so much for watching